stand by because Lisa's going to have her first ever drive on the wrong side of the road with a steering wheel on the wrong side and it's going to be interesting interesting <laughs> should we go and have a look at barking driving test center yes let's do it oh, it's really weird that it's in the house yeah but, uh, it looks alive <laughs> should we go inside yes let's go yes. we're in barking driving test center how does this compare to a Dutch driving test centre. It's very different. Very different? Yes. In what way? Well, this just looks like a house. It is just a house <laughs> that they've converted. How does it work in, in Netherlands? Well, you come in together with a lot of people and then you wait, just like in a waiting area like here, and then they take you to another room and there you fill in forms and uh, they look at your ID and that stuff and then you go out and uh, do the eye test and uh, can drive. Okay, so very similar. You just yes. have a nicer building. Yes, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Thanks. Shall we drive? Yes. Okay. Lisa, this is the start of your driving test. No, let's not add the drama because you're, <laughs> no you're very nervous already. We're going to drive around a test route. We're going to see how you get on. Um, ready? Yes. Show me how you drive in the Netherlands. Go. On the other side. <laughs> well, no, not on the other side. <laughs> Translate it into opposites. I will try. Do I do? Very nice blind spot check. Do you normally indicate to move off from the oh, curb yes, as well? We do. You do? Okay, cool. Oh, the fighting point is very different. Ooh. Ooh. In Netherlands, you drive fast. We do. Okay, so the sat is going to talk to you and tell you where to go. Mm -hmm. At the end of the road, we're turning right. Turn right. Thank you. We have to go that side. The left side, yes. yes. Well done. Yes, yes, yes. Doing very well. So if the gap isn't too wide, we'll just take it nice and slow. We're not in a rush. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing that we always tell students is it's not about fast, it's about safe. Yes. For your driving. I also don't know the speed limit. Okay. <laughs> That's Shall I tell you? Yes. 30. 30. On this road. Wow, this is going to be so interesting. Your first roundabout's coming After up now. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Right. Yes, which would be your equivalent left. All right. You're going go right on the roundabout and mm -hmm. take the third exit. You're going right. past the 12 o'clock position. That's one. One. There's two, yeah. and there's three. Ooh. Which lane do we have to be in? This one. Happy with that? Very good. We also don't really have wide lane roundabouts. You don't do this? No. Really? Not in cities. What place are you from in the Netherlands? Lichtenvoorde. Where's that? It's a small place. Oh, okay. So you live somewhere small? Yes. Countryside or small town? Small town. Okay. Must be much easier to drive there than here. Mm -hmm. It is. And the test center is in Doetinchem, but that's also not very busy. Okay. So you had an easy driving test? <laughs> well, I had. But I started and then an ambulance came. Okay. <laughs> and I've never encountered an ambulance before. <laughs> but uh, it went well. Did you pass first time? Yes, well but done. we also have um, like an in-between test, if you can call it that, I think. And you can um, get your maneuvers and uh, that stuff. Out of the way before your actual test? Yes. Oh, so you have to do a two-part driving test? You can, you don't have to. You can do it at the same time? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, you start just with lessons and then they ask you, do you want to do an in-between test, it's literally called. Okay. And. Um, you have nothing to lose from it, but you just can gain the free pass. The say. experience, yeah. Yes, and the experience as well. The pedals are also very close together. Ah, brake. Brake. Just so we don't oh, yeah. back. Yeah. We also don't really have hills. In the don't have hills in Holland, mm. in Netherlands. <laughs> Not that <What>? much. <laughs> Wild. 
so far your driving's very good. As a driving instructor, if I was going to give you, just check the right mirror because we're merging. Right. If I was going to give you any advice, yeah. it would just be to stay a little bit mm -hmm. further away from all other vehicles when you're stopped and when you're moving. Right. It takes the pressure off you mm -hmm. because you don't have to react so fast. You've got now much more distance between you and the car in front and there's more of a safety bubble. So if anything bad happens, you've mm -hmm. got more time to deal with it. You definitely don't want English driving lessons, but if you want a tip, that's a good one. <laughs> this probably looks very different to Netherlands as mm -hmm. well, but I think like the safety tips probably translate across all borders. Yes. What do you think of the car? It's very nice. Yeah? Yes. Okay, awesome. What about the colour? Yeah, okay. It matches your... Uh, yeah, that's, the, that's why I've got the hoodie. It matches. But no, you wouldn't have this colour? No, okay. I don't think so. Well, it's nice to see it, but I don't want to have it myself. <laughs> <laughs> what car do you drive back home? A Citroen. Citroen, which one? Uh, C4, I think. Citroen C4, is that the big one? Yes. Which lane? This one? Uh, yeah, we can use the middle one or the right oh. one. Actually, I don't know if this is a left turn only lane. So let's aim for the middle one, just in case. What's the most important thing for passing a driving test in <coughs> Netherlands? Safety. Safety, mm -hmm. okay, same, yeah, same here. Yes, you can make a few mistakes just if you dealt with it safety, safe, it's fine. Okay, how many mistakes can you make and still pass? Um, we don't really have that. Don't you? Oh, no. that's a good system. That's how they do it in mm -hmm. Sweden as well. It doesn't matter how many mistakes you make. If the examiner thinks you're safe, then mm -hmm. you get a pass. Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So over here, you're allowed to make 15 small mistakes and then it's a fail. Or if mm -hmm. you make a big mistake, then it's a fail straight away. Oh, yeah, well, big, big mistake is also, a, uh, how do you say, a fail? Yeah, but they count them, small mistakes, like, oh, you forgot mm -hmm. to signal or something. Yes, well, that's not really a pro pro problem, but uh, if you don't, how do you say, After hinder other people, yards, is right hinder the roundabout, I don't know. Take the second exit. Okay, another roundabout. Turning right, second exit. Are you okay to deal with this on your own? Go on, Lisa. I hope so. You got this. If uh -huh. I can see you making a mistake, uh -huh. then I'll jump in. Okay? Yes. This isn't a too hard one. Turn right, second exit. Go right on the roundabout and awesome. take the second exit. Fantastic. That was really good. How did you find that? Uh, it's fine. Good. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I could say would be the car would be a little bit more controllable in second in gear seconds, yes. at those speeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Where are we going After next? 100 yards, go left, left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. So good. Mm. Lovely mirror checks. Car control is brilliant. It's nice to hear. You are a great representative <laughs> of Dutch newly qualified After drivers. Yards, cross the roundabout and take the third exit, then take the exit. Okay, let's do it. Third exit. I'm going to leave this up to you as well because <laughs> you did so well on the last one. the roundabout and take the third exit then take the exit is this a roundabout yes it looks very good. Perfect. excellent great mirror check perfect signal timing after 800 yards take the exit then keep right so we're going to just keep to the left mm -hmm. here because we're leaving at the next exit right. on this road do you know what's so interesting lisa is how everybody in Europe is so good at languages. Mm -hmm. Like, you're actually so fluent at English. How old are you? 20. 20, yeah, right? So I feel like I'm struggling. Really? Yes. Oh my God, you're doing so <laughs> in well. In my head, it's like, I have a sentence prepared, but I can't say it. Okay. Do you have to think in Dutch and then translate it? No. You can think in English? Yes. Wow. 
very impressive. When you go to like Belgium, Holland, they don't mind at all when they're mm -hmm. so fluent at English. Do you have to learn English at school, like a lot? Yes, you take you do. it really seriously. Well, you start, most of primary school starts with English. Okay. And in secondary school, you have to take English. You have to? Yes. All the it's way through? It's also an exam. Uh, okay. But you also have to do other languages like French and German. Wait, so you can speak Dutch, French, German and English? Well, French and German I've only had for uh, three years, two, three years, so I, I can understand a few words, but I can't speak it. Wow. Okay, so the speed limit we just passed was said 50. Right. 50 miles After an hour? Yards, keep right. Oh, no. <laughs> Spoiling all the fun. There's traffic. 50. Keep right. Okay, we're not going to be able to do 50, but... Do we have to go in this side? The plan was there. What have you done in London so far? Other than look around and... Have you seen anything cool? My have you been to the M&M factory? The M&M's shop? Uh, no, not yet, but I've been before. Okay. So I went then with my mother and my sister. They uh, wanted to just see the Big Ben and all that kind of stuff. All the tourist stuff? Yes. Have you been on the London Eye? No. Okay, are you going to? No. <laughs> don't like heights? Well, I do, but I just don't want to pay that much money for oh, it. Oh, is it expensive? Yeah. Fair. Have you been on the riverboat? No, but uh, my uh, mum and my sister are going, going to do that today. Oh, and you're here with me, yes. <laughs> missing out on the fun. After 800 <laughs> yards, keep left. We're going to turn left on the roundabout, oh. first exit. Go around the roundabout and take the first exit. Nice gear choice, yes. Yeah. First exit, yeah. Oh, just a turn. Fantastic, super smooth. <laughs> oh my God, guys, get in the comments. Lisa's actually so smooth. You've only passed three months ago. Yes. And you've only done short trips. And now you're like super confidently <laughs> bolting it around London, which is really busy compared to where you're from. This is so good. After 300 yards, turn right, then bear right. No problem. Yeah. Also bus lanes, and can you use them and can't. 7 till 10 a.m. So we can use that okay. one, but we don't need to. You're not on a driving test, it's fine. Turn right. It's right here. Bear right. Super smooth steering. Oh. How many Bear lessons right. did you take? I did around. 40, I think. 40, which is yes. the same as here. Like, it normally takes people around 40 hours mm -hmm. to pass their driving test. Was your driving instructor just really good? Yes. He was, was. really good, yeah. yeah well, was it a she? He. He. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he'll start. Ooh. What was his name? Vim. 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 Vim, okay. Nice. Driving instructor Vim. Mm -hmm. Well done. Lisa's awesome. Oh, well, I guess it's also different because we have to learn with uh, instructors. Yeah, you can't learn with friends or family, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people in England don't learn with friends and family because you don't have the luxury. You don't have someone in your family with a car or something like that. But it's nice to have the option if you do. I think it's really scary. <laughs> because you don't, you don't know, yeah. To learn with a parent, learn, yes. because they won't have dual controls, mm -hmm. yeah. If you make a mistake, then... Uh, and they might not be very patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I've got a really good question for you, Lisa. In COVID times, yes. in the pandemic, you had lockdowns the same as we had lockdowns. Mm -hmm. Did you have to cancel driving tests and driving lessons, like shut down? Yes. Okay, we had to as well. So there's a massive backlog on driving tests. And at the moment, you will be waiting up to six months more Six really? months or more for a driving test. How is the driving test system over there? If you just start, yeah, you have to wait six months. Well, here they're going to plan you when they know you're ready for a certain time. Okay. So I did lessons for one year, I think. And um, in August, so I passed in January. And in August, he had planned my exam. Okay. 
then there was a space. But Off a friend of mine, she uh, didn't right. pass the first time. And um, to book a new test, it was like, um, I think six months wait. Six months wait? Oh, it's the I know, same six as... months, six weeks, sorry. Six weeks, oh. Yeah, but they're just squeezing her in. We're gonna turn right here. Turn right. Just pause there for the please. Yes, perfect. Set up when you're ready. Do you find that the police sirens in England are really dramatic yes, and they make are. you panic? In Europe, the police sirens are like, doo -doo -doo, mm -hmm. and it's much more calming, and you don't do stupid stuff around them, right? Is no. that necessary? No, it isn't. No, it's so not necessary. It just makes you go, mm -hmm. well, you hear them from very far away. True. That's a good thing, I guess. In England, when you take a driving test, mm -hmm. while you're on your driving test, your examiner will ask you to do things, like yes. turn on your dipped headlights, mm -hmm. show me how you do uh, demisting the front windscreen. Do you do that over there too? No. No, there's no questions. Well, outside the car there are questions. Ah, uh, like what? Like, um, what do you have to look for at your tyres or they can open the bonnet and you have to show them something. Okay, we do that too. What do they ask you to show them under the bonnet? Well, maybe they, they ask me about the tires, so. They ask me, what, what's the tire? What, how do you, what's your legal tires over there? I don't really know them anymore. That anymore. You forgot? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. You, <laughs> over here, you need to have 1.6 millimeters. Sounds familiar. Yeah, is it that? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. And no cuts and bulges in yes. the side is the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lisa, what we're gonna do next is pull up on the left, oh. just by that big wooden pole, or, yeah. or a bit after it if you want. Perfect, nice and close to the curb. Mm -hmm. Secure the car, handbrake in neutral. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do this like this. On a Dutch driving test, mm -hmm. do they make you do maneuvers like parking? Yes, they do. They take you into a car park? Yes. And they can take you and make you do parallel parking? Mm -hmm. What are the manoeuvres on your test? Uh, parallel parking, okay. forward bay parking, also back, backward, yeah. Um, three point turn. Okay. And turning in a, in a circle. Oh, like a U turn? Yeah, like a U turn. Okay. Uh, and drive straight backwards and do a turn backwards. And do you have to do all of them or just one? No, two. You have to do two? Interesting. Yes. So over here we just do one on a driving test mm -hmm. and the options are forward spay parking, backward spay parking, parallel parking or pull up on the wrong side of the road and reverse in a straight line. Yeah. Those are the options. Mm -hmm. Guess what we're doing today? Parallel park. Yeah? <laughs> oh. Okay. Is this your good one or no? No. No? Okay. No. Sure. Have I haven't, I actually haven't done it since I've passed my test. Really? No. Oh, well, I guess you're not in a city, so you probably just can yeah. slot the car into the side mm -hmm. of the road easily. Ooh. That was so slick. <laughs> that was so slick. <laughs> so good. Perfect. Great observation. Mm -hmm. Great car control. The car did what you wanted it to, and you ended up really nice and close to the curb. And it was smooth. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Quick battery change. <clears throat> Lucky I have lots of spares. And then we're going to do something fun. So in England, we only have one maneuver. Mm -hmm. But there was something else that we do on driving tests sometimes. And if you've watched Aman, or mm -hmm. DGN, or me, then you probably know what's coming next. You're gonna drive backwards. No, no, no. Huh? Oh, I guess I know. It's the emergency stop. Right. <laughs> do you do that in Netherlands? No. That's not on the driving test? No. It's just some stupid stuff we do here. Yes. <laughs> because it looks good on YouTube. I think it's actually dangerous. You think it's dangerous? Stop! 
to the car. Sure. And then the examiner will say, thanks, I won't ask you to do that again. Mm -hmm. Drive on. All right. And then you so drive, drive on. on. Yes. But there's one thing that you have to do, otherwise you fail. Check everything. Fantastic. How's that? Oh, it's fun actually. It was fun. Yes, <laughs> it is fun. It's so fun to manage these stuff. And you passed, by the way. So yes. really good. One of the biggest stresses when you pass your test mm -hmm. in the UK is finding insurance. Do you have that over there too? Well, you can. I think you can go with your parents on insurance, so you can uh, make time. So uh, I don't really know what to call it. But you can go on your parents' insurance for a while, because it's if you drive the car together. I think you can go on the same insurance. Interesting. You can do that here too. Be a named driver on your parents policy mm -hmm. but it costs so much there was one girl get this who contacted me and she follows me on instagram and mm -hmm. she pays six thousand pounds for one year's insurance one year for one year it's crazy how much did it cost to insure you when you passed your test after 200 yards well, you have reached your destination i didn't really i don't really have insurance you don't know what <laughs> we, we are working on this to uh, be together with my parents. You didn't pay for your own insurance, but you can drive it with your parents? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's but a really I good also system. can drive on my own, but I don't have insurance for myself. But you don't drive on your own then? Yes, I do. What? But the car is all my parents' insurance. Oh, so you don't have to even get your own insurance. You can just drive it. You don't... Oh my God, that's <laughs> so good. So you pass your test and you can drive your mum's car. Mm -hmm. Without needing any extra insurance. Your destination. Yes. For free. Mm -hmm. Well, it would, be, it would be better to have your own uh, insurance. So that if you crash, it doesn't cost your mum loads of money. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like Netherlands, Netherlands is the place to pass your driving test. Okay, the sat nav's finished. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm directing you now. All right. On a sat nav test in the UK. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take you all away. The examiner will give you some directions. So at the traffic lights, we're going to turn left. Is it the same for you? Yes. Yeah. Now you've driven a bit in London. Are you less stressed yes. and nervous? Feeling chill now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could keep doing this for ages, right? This isn't difficult. No. No. It isn't. At first, it's a little bit difficult to get used to, but. Shut up. Oh my god, this is a thing in London, right? Mm -hmm. People beeping at learners. Oh, I hate this. Do you have that in the Netherlands too? No. No, so people much. are patient? Yes. Okay, yeah. We are going to take the next road on the right. right. Just after the zebra crossing. Well done. Zebra crossing, nailed it. Okay, so we're back at Barking Driving mm -hmm. Test Centre. Let's park up on the left. Just here. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Cool. Cool. Well done, Lisa. Thank you. That was, I'm actually <laughs> very surprised you did so well. What's driving in London like? Verdict. End of the road now. Mm -hmm. We've been driving for maybe... Oh, oh my God, like 50 minutes? 50? 50 minutes. No. We've been driving for ages. Oh, we got stuck in loads of traffic though. Yes, really. Okay. We've it driving... didn't feel like 50 minutes. No, good. We've been driving for ages. How do you find London driving? It's actually quite fun. Fun, yeah. yes. Okay, perfect. I don't Brilliant. really mind it. Um, you would have definitely passed your driving test. I helped you a little bit at the beginning mm -hmm. on the roundabouts and how to get used to like the roads on the wrong side. But I let you start dealing with it on your own. And by the end, you were just driving. Big up the Dutch driving instructors. Because, yes, yes, you've clearly learned very well. Mm -hmm. And even if you came back and did this on your own tomorrow, I'd be confident that you'd be able to be super safe with that. It's nice to hear. Yeah, that was, no, yes. honestly, that was really good. I thought we were going to have to work together mm -hmm. the whole way around. And I would tell you to what lane to be in and mm -hmm. stuff, but you just dealt with it all on your own. Well done. Thank you. Get in the comments, guys. Wish Lisa some love, props <laughs> and energy because that was incredible. Well done. Mm -hmm.
And also, if you like this video, then YouTube thinks that you'll like this one as well. Check it out. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Stop. Stop. Do you want to say anything else? No, I don't want to. I hate London and I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate London. I want to come back. <laughs>